prove that there are no integers m and n such that m over n squared equals 2. Hint, assume m and n are relatively prime. Now this is the same thing as asking is the square root of 2, prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. So we'll get started here. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to note, assume that m and n are relatively prime. So all this means is that the GCD of m and n, the GCD of m and n is 1. So let's keep that in mind as we go through this proof. And uh, you'll see how we do it by contradiction. So let's assume that this statement is true, that this holds. Now, this can be rewritten as m squared over n squared equals 2. And that can, in fact, be rewritten as m squared equals 2n squared. Now what this implies is that 2 can divide 2 can divide m squared. Right, so since I'll do this in green, since 2 divides 2n squared, this implies that 2 divides m squared, right? So then moving on, if 2 divides m squared, then 2 must divide m. And if 2 divides m, then 4, let's square both sides, and 4 divides m squared, right? And if we keep going in this pattern, you'll see this proof come out here, then 4 must divide 2n squared, right? Because as you can see here, m squared equals 2n squared. Now we can essentially take the square root of both sides, but we'll do one more step in between there. So let's divide both sides by 2, and you get 2 divides n squared, which, like above, when we had 2 divides m squared, it also divides m, so therefore 2 divides n. Now what this implies is that since we have 2 divides m here, right, and 2 divides n, then the GCD of m and n is in fact 2, which is a contradiction, and it's the opposite of what we have here, right? The opposite of them being relatively prime. So that means the GCD of m and n is equals 2, then they're not relatively prime, which is a contradiction. So our assumption that m, m over n squared equals 2 does not hold. So therefore, there aren't any integer values that, that could make that statement work, and the proof is done.